Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. Today I will show you a couple of designs for clocks that run up to about 2.5 hours that are fairly easy to build and rather compact. There are a lot of applications for clocks, so maybe you have a farm that you want to start every 5 minutes or maybe you have a farm that you want to start once every 2.5 hours. I think the optimal time is something like 160 minutes. Il Mango calculated this in one of his videos. And there are a thousand clocks in Minecraft that you can build. If you want maybe a couple of seconds between pulses up to a couple of hertz, that is more, more than one pulse per second. But we don't really have a lot of compact or standardized clocks that run for maybe 30 minutes. The one long running clock that has been established for a long, long time is the so-called Etho clock. So it's based on items going back and forth in these hoppers. And the maximum time you can set it is four minutes and 16 seconds. So that's a rather nice clock. You can change the output in steps of 0.8 seconds, but the maximum is 4 minutes and 16 seconds. And there are often questions in media like Reddit that want to know what can I do if I need a clock that runs a bit longer. And often the answer is chain several of these clocks. And of course that's something you can do, but it's not really compact and also calculating how many seconds you get is a bit of a nightmare. So here are a few alternatives. Now this isn't exactly groundbreaking technology. All the components have been around for many years and I'm probably not the first to build a clock like this, but I can't really remember seeing clocks like this described in videos. So I thought I will just make a short video telling you about these clocks and showing you how to build them. The great thing about the Etho clock is its configurability. So you can change the clock duration by just setting the number of objects in these hoppers and these clocks have the same freedom of configurability. So you just need a rough idea of the period you want, say 40 minutes, then you pick one of these designs that supports a maximum time that is a bit longer, and then you can always fine tune the duration later by just adding a few items or removing a few items from these droppers. This is a clock design that is inspired by the Etho clock, but it uses droppers instead of hoppers. So we get more items, and instead of transferring the items using the hopper speed, which is one item every 0.4 seconds, we will transfer the items controlled by an external clock. And we can build this a bit more compact. This is so that you can see how the redstone circuit works in a glance. This is the more compact version. You will need a node block here, but otherwise that's the version to go. And this clock can be configured to run for up to 34 minutes. Like the Etho clock, we get a short pulse when the clock runs out. So this redstone lamp would light up really quickly. The clock is configured on one side by the amount of items in these droppers, which can be up to nine stacks. And on the other hand, by the time this clock runs. So we can increase the delay with the repeaters here and get a slower clock. And of course we could also use a slower clock here, for example, by adding more repeaters like so. If we do that, we already get a maximum time up to 65 minutes, more than an hour. It still can be built in a reasonably compact way. And we can also use a comparator fader clock. Now this clock takes roughly 1.4 seconds for each comparator that you add. So if we use more comparators, we will get a longer pulse. Two comparators give a maximum time that is a bit less than four repeaters. With six comparators, we get about 163 minutes. And if I recall correctly, this is pretty much exactly the time that you should harvest an amethyst chart farm. If you don't want to get out your pocket calculator to figure out how long this clock runs, you can use approximates. So here, if you have the max delay in the repeaters, which is eight ticks, you can say that one stack of items is just about four minutes, a bit less. If you have four repeaters set to maximum delay, one stack of items is a bit over seven minutes. And here with the fader comparator clock, with two comparators, one stack of items would be roughly six minutes. And then it scales on the number of comparators. With four comparators, you would be at 12 minutes. With six comparators, you are at 18 minutes per stack. The more compact versions of these clocks will run only on Java because they require this dropper to be powered by this block. This is quasi-connectivity and this works only in Java version. These simple designs will also work on bedrock, but you could also make a bedrock version with a smaller footprint, for example, like so, 
Now exactly where you have the secondary clock is up to you. The main thing is that the secondary clock powers both of these droppers here. And because these clocks are so small, I will give you a build tutorial, at least for the smallest version here. This is the material list. You will need a few building blocks. You will need just four redstone dust, two droppers, two comparators, two repeaters, a torch, two sticky pistons, one block of redstone, one lever. The redstone lamp is not necessary. It's just for output. The lever is basically so you can turn off the clock. And if you want to build a more compact version, you will need a node block. So let's build the clock. So you start by doing a base that is six blocks long and two blocks wide. And you add one block one on one side and you place redstone comparators facing into these blocks. So they must point outwards. And then you take two droppers and have them point inwards, like so. Put one piece of redstone dust on each end next to these blocks. Place sticky pistons so that they point to the inside. And put one redstone block in there. Put in however many items you want. And now we will build the controlling clock circuit on top, which is just a 3 by 2 base. Over the middle dropper you will need a node block. Then you place redstone dust on this side and then you place one repeater over the node block facing into the redstone dust, another repeater facing the other direction. This goes into a solid block and then you place a redstone torch. And now all you have to do is to tweak the repeater timing. So if you want a slower clock you add more ticks here. The output can be either side, what's more convenient for your build. So you just have a redstone torch here and this would be your output signal. And that's it. Little clock that runs up to 35 minutes. So I hope you can use this little clock. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye bye.